Good morning or good afternoon, wherever you may be, or good evening or good night. This is Jen at Jen's Arty Inclinations, a place to create, share and play. Hello, hello, hello. All right, now today I have been working on, you may remember I did this little book as one of our challenges over at the Facebook group I help administrate, playing with paper and glue. And come along, by the way. Join us if you haven't joined us already. Got a great challenge going at the moment, the hashtag choose six challenge. So that's something you can do. However, I have gone through and I've decorated all my pages and I used all sorts of different techniques. And today, where is it? Today, I wanted to show you two of the ones I quite like for pages. They're a really simple way, here it is, okay. This is a really, really simple, simple page. So I've kept these quite clean and easy, but they're lovely. So you can cover a page with say an image that you love. Here I've just used some scrapbook paper and then you've got a little slot. So I have this little piece that I cut out that I use and I'm trying to show you how easy it is there. So that's how that one works. And then I've got another one just back through here. Here we go. And this one, as you can see, has a slot in each corner. So that's really nice if you've got a full page image, then you can have these little hidden slots within them. So I'm just gonna show you how I made both of these. Here we go. So here it is before I put it in the book. I had a piece of a scrapbook paper that I'd cut to the size of my page or just under in this case and all I did to measure it was I turned it over I used a pencil just to trace around the corner and then I just chose two little points to do a diagonal line across so you could measure it up to make sure it's at exactly the same angle you know uh, the same distance from each corner but I just kind of guessed it by eye used a Stanley knife and cut a little slot. I just went slightly over the edge so that it's a comfortable slot to slide my little piece in. And it just works like a photo corner. So isn't that cool? Don't you think that's such an easy way to do something? And you could put in that anything. You can have a journaling card. You can have, you know, a little notebook. You could have a picture that you really want someone to see. So the possibilities really are quite endless. And all you're doing is you're sticking the whole thing down on your page. So I'm gluing all the way around the edge there so it sits down nice and firmly. And it's nice if you just do it in the middle. So obviously you just don't want it where your corners are going to poke through because you need it to have a little bit of space for those corners to poke through. And see how easy and quick is that. So can you imagine if you have a favourite picture or a background scene and you don't really want the scene interrupted yet you still want to add something like a journaling spot for people? Well this is how you do that. So again here it is just using the slot as a pocket and again all I did was I just traced it on the back to give myself a bit of a guide and work out how wide I needed that slot. So, you know, really, this is so simple. It doesn't even need a video tutorial, does it? So here, just grab my Stanley knife and a ruler and I mark across to make that slot. Now, what am I doing here? Oh, yep, I hadn't drawn my line down quite far enough and that's fine. So any second here, you'll see me slice it. Again, this is one of those things where the possibilities are endless. So there are so many different ways that you can use this. It is a really easy way to add something to a page. If you've got a removable in your journal, it's also a way that people can use that removable, but then still have the lovely journal space underneath. So it, you know, adds that consistency through the whole book. And see how that just easily slips in and out. Now again, all you're doing is you're pasting it down into your book. When I do these longer slots, or actually even for the corners, I tend to just run my fingernail or the pad of my fingertip across just to give it a little, you know, ease that paper a little bit. Just give it a 
you can almost stretch the paper slightly just to make it easier to slot it in. Because I was not needing an uninterrupted background image, I did actually ink the edge just so that I could see that slot more easily when I'm putting this piece in. So again, you know, it's only slight differences between them, but there are a couple of little tiny adjustments and tweaks sometimes that you can just make it, you know, look different. So on this one, I uh, glued around the edge and you can actually glue above where you're sliding your piece down because again, that helps that stick sit <laughs> nice and flush against the paper when and then the little pocket bit will just you know sit up ever so slightly and yeah so see how I'm just going on really close to that edge making sure that when I stick it down that glue doesn't slip on the other side of the slot you get the logic you know when you see it obviously being stuck down so what's the next bit? Hmm, can't remember. Oh, look, little fingers peeking through. <laughs> so yeah, on this one, I just really wanted above that slot, I really wanted to make sure that that stuck down nicely so that the actual card could slide in quite easily. But again, if you're doing removables, I mean, they could use yours, but then they might decide, oh, I'll use this afterwards to keep my own notes in or their own paperwork in. So, you know, you what you put in might just be a suggestion, but they might decide to put something completely different in. So, again, possibilities are endless. So there we are, final finished piece. I'm just using that scrap piece of card that I have to make sure that that's all stuck down nicely and that there's no glue that's gooped over that edge. And now I'm just finishing off. So inking around the edges, just so that I can have a little bit of definition. This little bingo card was just a cute one from a scrapbook pad I had. And voila, that are my little simple slot pockets. So the corner ones that are just like picture corners or photo corners and just the pocket, which is one that just slides in and out, up and down thought you'd enjoy. See you next time. I'd love it if you could leave me a comment below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed what you saw today. And of course, please subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time. And in the meantime, keep creating. Enjoy.